I visit the regional hospital to meet Dr. Gomez, a surgeon who knows all about stingray wounds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wham, we, we, okay. It's not a clean cut. You've got these serrations on the, on, on the spike. So what happens, it, 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 it makes a mess when it goes in and then it also rips the flesh when it comes out. The two children most likely died because the barb punctured an artery or vital organ, and they quickly bled to death. But that is not the only cause of death from this massive stingray. Dr. Gomez draws the barb with its backward-facing serrations and venom. So the mucus that's on the, uh, the spine, it, it, it doesn't just contain bacteria. There is actually a, a venom there resulting in deep, putrid wounds laced with toxins. The entire outer skin produces a necrotic venom, which becomes more concentrated around the tail and along the barb, meaning it is literally cloaked in a venom that destroys tissue. <laughs> 